So De Bruyne's had it. Varane, no, he's gone. So Jesus, no, it's seven players. Seven but minus 21. Seven, seven 18 plus tw- COVID regulation, seven days, 10 days. And that means if he's not available, we. Ah, oh, for fuck. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Yep, it's the COVID season. Manchester City play tomorrow against Swindon in the FA Cup and I've got absolutely no idea what's going to happen because none of us do. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fun and I can't wait to watch that. Today, I'm going to try and break down this game in the best possible way. No idea how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and do it nonetheless. Before I do that though, I want you to all go and download OneFootball right now. It's a fantastic app and as soon as those names leak, I'm sure OneFootball will be the first place you'll hear about it over there. Go and download it right now in the link in the description below and scan the QR code next to my face if you want use it that way it's a lot easier um it's the best football app on the market bar absolutely none uh, wonderful wonderful stuff all the stats and information and of course all the transfer news and goodness from across the world of football it may not even be city but you get up to date with all the latest news so download it right now it helps support me as well which would be massively massively appreciated down low one football what are you waiting for you do it i'm waiting do it and also while you're there hit the subscribe button come on Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm at 60k, nearly, nearly there. So do it right now. Subscribe right, me, right now for me. Let me know in the comments if you've done it as well. But this game is going to be interesting. City play tomorrow. Is it on TV? I think it is on TV tomorrow. Um, I think it is. Um, uh, for, let me quickly check. I, didn't, I presumed it was just on a Friday night. Um, City play tomorrow against Swindon, which will be interesting. It is. It's on ITV tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Um, that's going to be really interesting, isn't it? Very, very interesting game of football. Uh, the FA Cup, uh, obviously, the, one of the oldest domestic cup competition. A very big game for some young players, of course. Uh, and a game that I expect City be looking forward to away at the county ground. That's been a long time since we played Swindon. Uh, my first ever game was Swindon, actually. Genuinely, Swindon at Main Road in 1994. Kevin Horlock. City legend, uh, scored for Swindon an own goal. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Uh, City won 2 1 that day with um, David Rocastle, rest in peace. Um, Rocky uh, scoring and obviously an own goal there. Yanaga Furtov scored for Swindon. Um, but that's, I've got fond memories of Swindon because of that as a, as a reason. Uh, of course, as well, I remember people like Nicky Summerby coming from there and. Um, Kind of it, really, if I'm being honest. Uh, <laughs> but basically, Swindon's going to be interesting. They're currently fifth in League Two. But this game, let's get to the headline. 21 first team staff members apparently out at the moment, which is up to 14 staff and seven players. Uh, Pep Guardiola has COVID, thankfully. And Rodolfo Burrell, uh, who's standing in for Pep, and Juan Mar Lilo. Lilo, the assistant manager, has also got COVID, and uh, Pep as well. Rodolfo Burrell, who is a very esteemed academy coach. He was at Barcelona during their golden generation. Then he went to Liverpool as well. Then he went to Manchester City. And he's known for a really astute eye and a really good coach. And he works his way through the ranks to become a first-team coach at Manchester City. Um, he was He's taken over this game. He's leading it, which is, makes sense given his academy background as well and also he's one of the first team coaches he's managing it and he was at the press conference today and this is what he said he said we had an outbreak at the moment we have seven players unavailable up to 14 staff that's a big outbreak we're getting it day by day uh don't know where it will end at the moment it's seven players and 14 staff that at the moment bit by the way is relatively interesting mainly because he's right <laughs> at the moment it is that but who knows what it's going to be um not at the moment, you know, it could be loads. He said loads more as well. Um, he was talked a little bit about um, the squad. He said, I mean, we, we're going to try and fill the whole squad and be able to travel with at least five or six subs. We've also had to bring some players from the second team, but with the outbreak also involved players from second team, so the situation is not easy. So some young players have got it as well. Uh, apparently, there's a bit of a breakout. I heard that as well in the EDS camp at the moment. You've got to bear in mind as well, the EDS haven't played a game since December the 17th, so a lot of them are not lacking match fitness. But Rodolfo said, uh, Burrell Blues, he said, all of us, all the clubs are suffering. Some right now, some later. We can cope as best as we can. He also said, uh, the lineup uh, said, we'll Will be one of the easiest lineups we have to decide because we select the ones we have available, which is fair enough and makes an awful lot of sense. In terms of the team news, though, let's just try and work it out, I guess, together. So, in terms of the team news, well, we know Mars is not available. I think he's not available because of the African nations. Um, Zinni and Foden were out the other day, weren't they, with COVID? So, I'm going to guess they're still out, in my personal opinion. I reckon they are. So, no Zinni, no Foden. I don't think Mars is available. Um, I don't know who's going to be. I mean, Sterling's not had it yet. I would guess Sterling. I don't think Grealish has had it yet, as far as I can remember. Maybe he'll have it. Um, has Bernardo yet? Maybe he's not had it yet, so he could be the one. Um, who else has not had it? I think Gundogan. Has Gundogan had it? I feel like he has. He has had it, yeah, but he could get it again because it was a long time ago. Uh, De Bruyne has just come back, so I think he'll be available. 
Uh, I don't even know if Stones is available or not. He wasn't available the other day, so maybe he's got it. You know, um, who else? Kyle Walker, I think probably fine. I think he had it personally. I think he might have been out for a little bit. Uh, you just don't really know, do you? And um, we get to the team news and basically, and like, it's really hard to guess. I mean, when you think of the young players, McAtee was, did have COVID and he's back now as well. I'm not sure if Cole Palmer's had it at any point or not, but you hope he's available still. Um, the team news is kind of all over the place. Um, they don't want to be said, they don't say the players that Lardy were ill, which is fair enough, you have to respect that. When you get to the lineup, it gets very difficult. I mean, as we're saying, Zinni and Foden, I think they definitely have it. Mares maybe. I, I don't think Edison will play anyway. So when you get to the actual team, I think Stefan will start in goal anyway, even if Edison's available. I mean, if Edison's got it, now would be a decent time for him. If he's not, it would be a decent time now, so he's back for the Chelsea game, uh, which is also worth mentioning for it as well. Obviously, you know, uh, Chelsea is nine days away. If the players test negative on the sixth and seventh day, they're, they're available to come out of isolation. Fingers crossed they're not symptomatic. So I think Stefan will be in goal. Um, I think Kyle Walker will play here. I think Kyle Walker will actually start for rhythm purposes. And then it depends. Is this Stones available? I'm going to say he isn't. So I'm going to put Finley Burns, uh, Ake, and then Bete. I, think, I don't think Laporte will play. I don't think Diaz will play. So I would say Luke and Bete. I mean, um, I've got a feeling Wilson Esbrand won't play for some reason. I've got a feeling it might be Ake left back. Um, um, Bete, Ake, and mainly because of Wilson Esbrand, he could have played this maybe. Maybe he will do. It depends if he's available or not. Um, I saw some rumours that he's not available. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Ake and Bete and. Burns or Stones or Egan Riley, I don't know. I'm gonna say Walker, Finley Burns, Nath, uh, Bete and Ake. One of them will be a left back. I'm not sure who. In midfield, I'm gonna say I reckon Finn and Dino. I think will actually probably sit this out anyway. I, I think Romeo Lavi will be available, and I think he'll start this game. It could it could be that we start Finn and Dino. Um, I don't think Rodri will play. Rodri could play for Riven. Do not be surprised if Rod- Rodri plays for Riven, by the way, for what it's worth. So, But I think Lavia, I'm going to go for the academy players. I think they might decide, because they've got so many players out at the moment, that they don't want some players to risk an injury. So I think it'll be Lavia. Then I think Gundogan will play, uh, personally. I think Bernardo and De Bruyne might sit this one out. Uh, I think Gundogan will play, I reckon, if he's available. <laughs> Who knows? And then I would say McAtee. I think McAtee might get a start here. McAtee might get a start, um, which leads me to the forwards. Grealish, you don't know if he's available or not. He's not had it yet, nor a Sterling, which makes me think they might do now. And if Foden... Oh, do you know what? Logic. I'm going for logic here, lads. If Foden had it, who's his best pal? Grealish. And who does... Uh, who do, He's the English lads. And who would Sterling and Foden hang around with? Sorry, who would Foden and Grealish hang around with? I think they'd hang around with Sterling. So I reckon Grealish and Sterling have got it, just because they spend enough time together. I could be wrong there, but I reckon it'll be them. So I'm going to leave him out of the team. <laughs> That's my deduction. This is just a guess and guess who, isn't it? I'm going to say, okay, in that instance, that means we're down to Jesus and Palmer. Palmer could do. I'm going to say Cole Palmer will play. Hopefully he'll play. Jesus, I think, will play. Morris is not available. We could see Bernardo or De Bruyne if they're available. Do we see Keiki? Do we see Oscar Bob? I think he might be cakey, you know. I'm going to put cakey in instead of Grealish. It well, should be Grealish, but I think I think he might have it. That's, this is just I'm just guessing here. I know this feels really crass, but this is the life of a YouTuber right now. Uh, I'm putting cakey in, and then who else could be? It could be Oscar Bob. He could play. You know, maybe Tommy Doyle's rushed back from Hamburg with his loan cancelled. Maybe he's available to play. Uh, who else? You know, it could be that um, Mika Hamilton is he available? I think he is at the moment. I'm not sure if he is. Uh, he did quite well for the EDS. Uh, we've got obviously uh, the likes of Dozy. I think is currently injured. If he isn't, he'll be available. I think the lap, it might be a little bit too soon for him. Hopefully, he's available. And then, obviously, you've got uh, people like Egan Riley as well. Obviously, he could be available for the defenders. Uh, you'd have to see, don't you, really? It's difficult because the EDS at the moment, they are, you know, looking asking a few plays as well. So, I think Bob might be involved. Uh, Egan Riley might be on the bench. Uh, Oscar Bob would deserve it. I think Keiki might start it. That'd be interesting, won't it? We'll see. It's really hard to predict. So, there's the opposition. Well, I don't know anything about Swindon. Of course, I do. I mean, I, I did look in general. Um, Rod- Rodolfo said this about them. said a team we've been able to watch, including the last game versus the Phantom. They won 5 2. They're good. They play from the back and they're aggressive. We are ready and have to be ready for the challenge. We expect a very tough game. They are currently sat in fifth in League Two. They're, the form has been relatively sketchy at the moment. Um, I don't know much about them other than the fact that they'll be up for this. You know, I, I, I'd be very surprised. If they don't play a strong team, they should play a strong team because, you know, why wouldn't you um, against Man City? I don't mean that in a patronising way, but it's just a big game. You know, it's a good chance for them, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry, it's gone dark because I'm using the screen to light my face up. So just allow it for a second. But look at the results 5-2 the other day. They've got a lad called uh, Harry McCurdy who scored four the other day. 
They drew 0 0 before that, lost 2 0 before that, lost 4 1 before that. Um, they got they beat Walsall in the second round. They got knocked out. They got beat in the the um, the football league trophy um, due to Harrogate uh, and beat Hartlepool a while back. So they're kind of in mixed this form at the moment. They're, they're a good side, clearly by the, the, the league position, and I think they'll be really up for this. That is going to be the FA Cup boost. Having said that, I've got to back my boys, haven't I? I think McAtee and Palmer will be really, really keen to impress in this game. Uh, and hopefully, Lavia too. I'm sure the senior players who are available, whoever it's going to be on the bench, need to come on with the help if we need them to. Uh, I think we've got to trust the players to be professional and get it done. I I had no idea what to expect. It's a guesswork, but we'll have to see. Either way, I think City will win. I've got to back the boys, you know. I'm going to go for the 2-1 Man City. I think they'll be. I think they'll get the goal. The goal that they probably deserve as well with the energy and the crowd up for it. Um, but I think City will have enough in the end. Come on, McAtee. Come on, Palmer. Come on, Mbete, Lavia, Wilson, Esbrand, if he's available. I don't know. Either way, come on, lads. Come on, City. That's my verdict, guys. Let me know in the comments what you reckon for the game tomorrow. Um, there's loads of rumours going around who's available, who's not. It's absolutely a wash. It's not for me to really discuss. Just a guess. Uh, we'll see. Thank you to my patrons, Scott Denemy. Thank you to everyone for watching these videos. Hit that subscribe button. Download one football, and hopefully the live videos will be coming back very soon. It's just places a mess. I'll show you. Look at the state of this. Look at that everything is just an absolute mess at the moment. Life will be back to normal soon. I promise you. In a bit. <laughs>